go ahead and clip it on and then you have the LCD screen facing you so you can set everything up and just keep walking. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives and I just wanted to share how I've been treating my POV angles using the DJI Osmos Pocket 3. Now to kind of explain how I came to this, I wanna go backwards a little bit. I went on Amazon trying to find a solution for this because this is something that I think would be valuable just either for behind the scenes content or maybe you wanted to use it for a different angle for your videos. Going online, you really only have two solutions. You have a clip like this that uses a GoPro accessory or a small little cage like this, you just drop it in. And again, you have a little GoPro accessory on the back. So the problem with these are when you go ahead and put your Pocket 3 in here, you have the mounting in the back. So that's gonna be facing you. And for these, I went with the catcher clip, or again, just using this clip, which I'll leave a clip showing what it looks like using the clip. Now I'll show you a clip what it looks like using this little cage here. Now that does work and you can get great angles with it, but the issue for me is that when you have it here mounted on you, your screen's facing outward. So you have to like look over or pull your camera and, and connect it to it to see where it's shooting to get those angles right. And if you're on the go, you don't always want to be doing that. For me, I always don't want to have to take my phone out to make sure that the camera's angled right. I bought this little 90 degree GoPro accessory and then I put it to another small rig arm and then to my capture clip and it kind of worked, but it was so heavy and then it didn't always work out. Like there's too many moving parts. I didn't like the way that looked. So I've been looking around trying to figure out what I can do. Now introducing the accessory mounting expander by Tilta. If you don't know who Tilta is, they're pretty well known in the camera world. They make pretty much any little accessory you can be looking for. So this, what does this do? Now, if you look here, on the bottom you have quarter mounting screws and on the side you have quarter mounting screws with this being a NATO rail. So if you take something like this, a small rig arm, which this is a similar small rig arm to what I use for how to film yourself while driving, I'm gonna mount this to the side of this. And for this, you'll need either the little small bottom piece of the DJI Osmos Pocket 3 or the battery grip. What you can do is you can lock it in, go to that small rig arm here, and then I needed a little accessory, which was a female to female for the quarter, so I could attach my Peak Designs capture clip along with the small rig arm to it. So what this allows you to do is on your shoulder strap of your backpack, which is where I keep mine, I can put this to my Peak Designs capture clip and it will allow me to film that POV angle with the screen still facing me so I can see where I'm recording and make sure it's at the angle that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a tilt the cage it's just easier for me to say that. I wanted to do a quick little bonus tip. Um, you probably have already figured this out, but I thought I'd share it for those of you maybe who haven't you know, thought of trying this. Now, if you're wanting to do 4K vertically, you can't do that in the Pocket 3, at least not yet. They haven't released an update to allow you to do that. They do it with their drones. I'm not sure why they can't do that here. Anyway, what you can do is just, if you're filming horizontally, just turn it. So now it'll be vertical and 4K. And if you have, say this tilt -a cage you can just mount it right there like that. Or again, with this setup that I have, you just go ahead, put it in your Peak Design capture clip and you can film that vertical 4K POV mode. I just wanted to share this setup with you. And again, you have the tilt -a cage a small rig arm with the capture clip and that little accessory to attach the two. Hopefully you find this useful and that you're able to use this maybe in your behind the scenes. Let me know in the comments if you think this would be helpful for your film flow. If you're looking to recreate this setup, I'll leave the links below. Those are affiliate links. There is no extra cost for you, but they do help the channel. And I appreciate if you do happen to use those. So yeah, there you go to be able to shoot a POV with it facing you. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.